I am Ash from Able12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the page load time. This script is very simple, um, so let's get to it. Open up Dreamweaver and at the very top of the page we're going to create um, a start time variable. This is going to be equal to micro time. Um, if you don't know what micro time is, um, basically it is a function that will get the current time in milliseconds if you know what I mean by that um, then under here is your main HTML page so we're just going to leave that like that for now and then right at the very bottom um, we're going to create an end time and that is equal to micro time again um, so basically these three lines the start time must be at the very top so if you're working with sessions um, it will be like that so start time must go at the very top um, and end time must be at the very bottom well this block now would be at the very bottom so underneath end time um, and I should put PHP on there just to get that working um, we're going to create a total time and this is going to be equal to the end time minus um, the start time now you'd probably think that would work but as you can see now if I just echo this out it will look a bit dodgy so if I just refresh the page as you can see we get 3.3 um, a lot of numbers and refresh it'll change and we get E5 at the end of it basically this is a number that is only recognised by PHP basically if you want to put it that way um, so to humans um, that doesn't tell us the page load time so what we can actually do is if we put a number underscore format around here and save that, that will convert that into a number um, now then if we put some more brackets around here and in between these two M ones if we put comma and um, let's say 3 for example this will convert it to 3 decimal places if we put 9, 9 decimal places um, so how many decimal places you want, I'm just going to put 3 um, and if I echo this out now, as you can see, not point, not 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 um, the reason why we're getting no, no time basically is because we're not actually running any code we're just, you know, it's taking literally virtually no no time at all to actually load this page so what I'm going to do here just to demonstrate this is if I go to my website and um, if I just load up a page that has a lot of um, code inside so this register page for example on my website if I just copy that in there and as you can see here I've already got the page load time so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this um, just so we don't see it twice um, so ok save that and if I just refresh oops uh, require ok this is because I use require in my um, page so if I just delete the requires um, Right there. Um, okay, so now if I save that out and try it again, as you can see, the page looks different to my website because of um, all the style sheets are not in the right locations and undefined indexes and stuff like that. Um, just forget about that. It's the time what we we are looking at mostly, and here it is down here. And as you can see, um, if I just keep refreshing, um, it's taking literally no time at all. Again, you see one every now and then. Um, so, but that's that's basically because there's not much, not much really, to be honest, code on this page. So, um, for example, if I load up uh, my actual website and go to the register page, just log out here. Um, down at the bottom, as you can see, it says not point, not not seven. Um, and that's not the case on this because. Um, 
or stuff that's not loaded for example the requires it's not had to load other pages up um, it's not had to load um, style sheets because the um, the links are not exactly in the right places you know just stuff like that it's not had to load up that's why um, but that is actually working if you want to make it a bit bigger at the time you can always just change that to let's say five and that will then give us five decimal places you can see there now paved load time and um, so yeah that's just how to create a page load time it's only simple like what four lines was it we did um, four lines I think so we've got three there one at the top yeah four lines well three because the fourth one is just the echo um, so that's basically just it so thanks for watching and I will see you next time